Hi, I'm Brenda from the Avant Garden Shop and welcome to another episode of The Garden Gate. Here it is, it's winter time and uh, I wanted to show you my bird feeding station because often people say, I can't get it set up so it's squirrel proof. We have no squirrels at our bird feeders. They come and they clean up on the ground but this way it works. So we have a baffle on it, has to be four and a half, five feet off the ground otherwise the squirrels can jump past it. Then you also have to have enough space around the feeder station as well. So squirrels can jump kind of 10, 12 feet sideways. So if they can launch themselves from a roof or a tree or a deck rail, that sort of thing. So you need enough space around it. And as you can see, we've got just that amount of space. Sometimes tree branches grow. So you might have to trim a tree branch every once in a while. The spruce that we have behind here, the branches are soft enough that the squirrels can't launch themselves from the spruce tree. We have lots of beautiful birds here. We have finches, we have cardinals, woodpeckers, blue jays come and go. We have a lot of the red poles right now. I've had pine siskins show up. I've even had a northern shrike in my backyard. So it's really good if you can set it up because the squirrels scare the birds away. People often say, oh, I like to feed the squirrels. They need to eat too. But let them feed from the ground. Let them clean up what the waste is on the ground and they'll be happy. You won't end up with huge families of squirrels showing up. So feel free to check out our website, our YouTube channel. Give us a call if you have any questions. Uh, and we're happy to help you figure out how to make a squirrel-free bird feeding station for everybody to enjoy. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time on The Garden Gate. The Garden Gate is brought to you by the Avant Garden Shop, your destination for garden accessories and backyard birding supplies. Sherbrooke Street, downtown Peterborough.